वेलकम बैक एस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल अनकनोन प्रोजेक्ट पैच इन साइलेंट हिल होम कमिंग ऑन स्टीम डेक एंड रॉ गैल है बाई डिफॉल्ट दिस गेम्स एफ पी एस इज कैप्ट एट थर्टी इट डज नॉट इवन हैव एक्सपॉक्स कंट्रोलर प्रॉम्प सम क्विक टाइम इवेंट्स आर ब्रोकन अनकनोन प्रोजेक्ट पैच फिक्सेस ऑल ऑफ दीज इशूज वी विल बी एबल टू प्ले द गेम एट सिक्सटी एफ पी एस आई गेट थिंग्स ऑफ विथ माई स्टीम ऑयस इट्स रनिंग ऑन स्टेबल स्टीम ऑयस वर्जन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट Using Proton Compatibility Lab version 8.0-5 connected my Gullicate KK3 Max Gamepad 2 Steam Deck via 2.4 GHz and wireless mode. I played this game on my PS3 back in the day. Silent Hill games were popular back then. Their popularity has declined over time. This year we will be getting the remake of Silent Hill 2. I hope it sells well. Looking forward to it. Show the performance tab. Only level set to 3. Frame rate limit set to 60, refresh rate set to 60 as well. That's it. I am using this controller layout, gamepad with joystick, trackpad. Gamepad will not work by default. Just need to go to options. You can use a mouse. Okay, gamepad mode is activated. Then you need to go to controls. Select use controller. Then you need to press the escape keyboard key. Your gamepad will work. Video settings: 800p resolution, refresh rate set to 60 hertz. This is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. High quality preset. That's it. There is a character Alex, and you can see game is running at 30 fps. It's so sluggish. Save point. No Xbox controller prompts. A number is displayed. Now I'll show you how to install the patch. Switch to SteamOS desktop mode. I've installed the game on an SD card, Amazon Basics A2 rated. Open the SD card directory, Steam Apps folder, Common folder. This is the directory where the game's install folder is present. There it is. Game files. In order to download the patch, just head to this GitHub website. I'll give its link in the description. First, you need to download patch version 2.5, 3.0D. Just click on patch 2.5.exe file. Then you need to download version 3.10 or fix one. Scroll down until you find patch 3.10.exe. The patch is going to change the game save directory, so just create a backup of the game's original save file that is present in the default save directory. This is the default save directory. I'll give it in the description of this video. Home, Deck, Dot Local, Share, Steam, Steam Apps. Compile data 19,000. PFX Drive C. Users, Public Documents. Silent Hill Homecoming. There's the save file. Right click, copy, transfer it to anywhere on your PC. I'll just place it in the download directory, save game folder. And there it is. These are the two batch exe files that I just downloaded. By default, they will be present in the downloads folder. I just transferred them to another folder. Name the folder as unknown. You can name it anything you want. Now you need to run Proton Tricks. You can download Proton Tricks for absolutely free from Discover Store. Select Silent Hill Homecoming 19,000 Steam version. Double click. This window will pop up. Just check. Select the default Find Tricks. Then click on OK. Now just select Run Explorer. Click on OK again. Wait for the next window to pop up. There it is. We need to navigate to the directory where the patch files are present. In my case, it's the download directory, so I'll open my computer. Z drive, home, deck, downloads folder, unknown folder. First, you need to install patch 2.5. Double click. Yeah. Select I accept the agreement and click on next. Next. Now you need to navigate to the directory where the game's install folder is present. Don't open the folder. Click on Browse. I just showed you the directory. I have installed the game on an SD card. In my case, it's the D drive. Open it. Open Steam Apps folder. Now open Common folder. This is the directory where you want to install the patch. Do not select Silent Hill Homecoming folder. Click on OK. This is the final directory. Next. 
this prompt will pop up folder already exists just click on yes next install wait for the process to complete windows 7 service pack 1 oh my god yeah this game is very old installation complete uncheck one of the boxes click on finish now we need to install patch 3.1 double click I accept next 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 install that's it wait for the process to complete there you go uncheck all of the boxes click on finish close proton tricks now if you install the patch correctly a new folder will be present in the games install directory and just open steam go to your library select the game open the games install directory right click on the game manage then click on browse local files this is the games install directory and there's the new folder that I was talking about patch created it bin underscore version 3.0 we need to launch the game using this exe file silenthill.exe present in this directory so I'll be adding this exe file to my steam library as a non steam application process is very simple just open steam click on add a game click on add a non steam game then click on browse navigate to the games install directory SD card Steam apps common silent hill homecoming open pin version 3 folder silent hill.exe file make sure it's checked click on add selected programs there's the exe file and just select the controller profile for it gamepad before starting the game I'll just transfer my original save file to the new save game directory there is the save game folder copy it has the save file open the games install directory this is the directory just open engine folder and paste the save game folder here your save files will show up in the game switch to steam gaming mode still using the same proton compatibility layer gamepad is not working just use mouse and keyboard go to options controls use controller escape keyboard key yeah now gamepad is working 720p resolution 60hz refresh rate high quality pc save files we are in you can see xbox controller prompt is being shown and just leave the place 60fps it's a smooth experience that jank is gone now I'm looking for the exit stuck in this creepy place open the map our house this is our location go to my house and this is the city abandoned even here we are getting 60 fps game is not demanding on the hardware old school title you should be able to complete the game now should not get stuck in any quick time event cutscene skipped it so dark I need to check the basement got a flashlight show you some combat there's a creature here and there it is oh my god it lunged at me during combat FPS dropped down to around 40 40 to 60 FPS on Steam Deck now I'll show you the installation process on ROG Ally my ROG Ally is running on BIOS version 3.3.7 install the latest stable GPU drive from AMD and run a lane version 24.3.1 I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB you can set it to lower values as well 15 watts performance profile on my ROG Ally I have installed the game in this directory C drive, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, silent and homecoming now I install the patch first install patch 2.5.exe select I accept the agreement 
next it's the same thing that we did on steam deck navigate to a directory with the games install folder is present c drive program files x86 open it look for steam folder here steam apps folder common folder this is the directory where you need to install this batch do not open silent hill homecoming folder click on ok final directory next yes next install uncheck all of the boxes click on finish install batch version 3.10 i accept next 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 again install uncheck all of the boxes again click on finish i'll show you the game's default save directory on windows this is the default save game directory there's the save file and just copy it paste it in the new directory games install directory open engine folder open save game folder if this folder is not present here then just create it manually paste the game save file here need to launch the game from bin version 3 folder silenthill.exe I'll add this exe file to my steam library as a non steam game open steam click on library click on add a game click on add a non steam game browse navigate to the games install directory open bin version 3 folder double click silenthill.exe file make sure it's checked click on add selected programs also need to add the games exe file to add the software I have already done that you just need to click on these three dots and click on add a game open the games install directory then open bin version 3 folder double click silenthill.exe file it should show up here and there it is these are the settings that I am using I have disabled facing facing disabled as well anti lag setting enable RSI enable controller profile gamepad there you go using a custom afterburner overlay showing the performance statistics settings resolution set to 720p refresh rate set to 60hz using the high quality preset running the game at high resolutions and high frame rate can cause it to crash game will restart there's alex xbox controller prompt i'll leave this place wow the game is running so smoothly it's running using direct 3d9 api for running older games dxvk is better it's basically a translation layer that translates direct 3d9 10 and 11 calls to vulcan city abandoned apu is running almost 9 watts of power total power draw is around 25 watts because i have connected my jsoc dock without the dock connected power draw will be around 15 watts you should be getting a play time of around 3 hours on a full battery cutscene reach the house I'm gonna go look around. I'll check Just the basement creepy creature is there stabbed it fps stayed around 60 that's really good to see that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful Thanks for watching and have a nice day.